What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are super excited for another video of me showing you a whole bunch of plushies that I made. You guys request these videos all the time, so I do have another one for you. We are about to do our first market of 2023. I'm so excited. The market is tomorrow. I finally have as much crocheted as absolutely humanly possible, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I have ready for this market and then later this evening I need to get them priced and packed away. I have a lot of work to do tonight so I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible. I have a couple bins here on the floor next to me so I'm going to just be pulling random things out and showing you guys what I have. Okay so the first thing that I have is this giant little I was gonna say octopus it's not an octopus it's a heart with little legs so it's like a little leggy heart with some super cute holographic eyes i only have one of these this is left over from valentine's day i have a few of these super cute jellyfish i will show you guys all of the ones that i have done this time because i know last time people were requesting to see all of the different color options so I will show you guys every single plushie today. But these are the first three. I try to do a variety of colors, obviously. <laughs> I just love color. So any excuse to make super colorful plushies, I'm all about it. So it looks like I have about eight uh, jellyfish this time. I will just show you all of the color options that I have. And one more blue one. Oh, and I will try to mention some of the prices that I charge for these plushies because that was another comment I saw on quite a few videos. You guys want to know what I'm charging. I don't have the prices worked out for every single item yet, but for some of the things that I sell on a regular basis, I will let you guys know what I charge. So for those jellyfish, I charge $28. That is Canadian dollars, so just keep that in mind for this video. All the pricing is in Canadian dollars and that jumbo leggy heart is $30. I have been trying to use up my velvet collection lately. I have quite a bit of velvet yarn and it's not really my favorite type of yarn to use but I've just been looking for a few patterns to just try and use up some of it because I have to use it. And I made my Twinkie the Turtle pattern in velvet yarn. Look how small and cute it is. I love it and it's so soft. I love the colors. I do have a couple Twinkie the Turtles done in just like the regular yarn that I use. So I'll show you guys that after for comparison. But yeah, this one just fits in my hand and it's so cute. I haven't worked out what I'm gonna charge for this guy yet. I have a few of my mama bunnies done. This one doesn't have a baby with it. I will show you guys um, the other ones after. But I did this super fun multicolored one. This actually has like sparkly yarn in it. It's super cute. The bunnies and the mama bunnies and the koalas and larger pieces like this are $60. Here is another one from my mama bunny pattern. The pattern actually does come with a few minis and this is one of the minis that comes with it. So I did a little carrot for this one because I just thought he would be so cute for Easter. Look at his little tail. I love him. This is definitely one of my favorite plushies that I've made lately. I have this little baby pocket hippo. This was a pattern test for crochet with Bay. So I have one of these guys. Another mama animal. These are all kind of on the top of this box. so kind of nice that I'm able to show them all together. This one obviously has the little baby koala with it. So cute. Love her. I have one in my collection back there that I keep for myself as well as the mama bunny and the pig, which I will show you guys a couple of the pigs shortly. This is Papa Pig. So there's the little baby pig in his arms. Look at his little tail and his little overalls. I do have a little hat included with this pattern but I just didn't make a hat for this guy. That guy back there has a hat but pretty rainbow eyes on him and I just love his blue overalls. He's so cute. And then I also used that pattern to make a mama pig so I just used the bow from my bunny pattern and obviously here's the little baby. Her little tail. I just didn't make overalls for her. I used some of my felt eyes which I believe I do have in stock right now on my website. If you guys want to go check out what I have felt eyes are flat rate shipping so you guys can go check that out linked in the bio i have this adorable little cow i have made so many of these cows over the last year and a half 
and I just love how like eastery he looks almost like a little spring cow I used my cloud eyes on this one these eyes are currently in stock on my website again linked down below if you guys want to snag them while they're back in stock but I only have one cow made for this market um, cows normally range from about $45 to $52 depending on size this one is a little more on the smaller side so it will probably be around the $48 range. I have a couple corn, actually I have three corn made. I have two of this color and then one of this color. I charge $45 for these. These sell really well, they're super popular. I just love how you can put the little leaves. What is this called? I can't remember, totally blanking right now. But anyways, you can put them up and down. Super, super cute and they're a really good size as well. Oh, the husk, that was the word I was looking for. So here's the third one. I have some axolotls for this market. I haven't made these guys in a hot minute. I made a few over Christmas and they sold super fast. Axolotls are really popular. They're just so cute. So I made a few different colors. I normally charge around $38 for these. Sometimes I make a larger one, which is closer to $50, but I went with this size this time. I just I don't know I just prefer this size and it's a little bit easier to make so I have these two colors and I also have this super cute yellow and orange one and this purple one I really like the colors of this one it's very different I have made a couple mama whales this time I try to make these whenever I can because they always sell at markets people just love the plushies that have the little babies with them and I got two done. I know my mom has a bunch of these done, like she makes the octopus ones, so we will have a lot. But these have the two little babies on the inside. I'll grab the other baby just to show you. There we go, super cute, super fun and interactive. And these ones have felt eyes. I did restock these 50 millimeter felt eyes on my website. They are in stock right now. I believe I have a few packs left. So you guys can go check that out. I do have two of these guys done this time. This one is kind of like a gender reveal one, but for now I'm just gonna sell it as a regular whale and baby. There's like a little purple one inside and a white one. So how it would work for a gender re reveal is you would have the color, whether it's pink or blue on the inside and then a white one on the outside just so that you can't see the color of the baby on the inside. And these are the other felt eyes that I have available. I have some of these mallard ducks finished. I only have four. I originally planned to get more done. I just ran out of time, but I have two of this color and two of this color. These are super cute. I used to make these a little bit smaller, but I really like this jumbo size. So these guys are gonna be around the $30 mark. Oh, and I forgot to mention the mama whales are $58 or $60, kind of depends. Of course, I have restocked the jumbo leggy froggies. These are one of our most popular products. I charge $30 for this size. This is the jumbo size. I have these four colors available this time. I'm gonna go ahead and count how many I have done for my inventory because I haven't actually counted that yet. But these are the color options. So I just counted and I have 10 of those ready. So that's a pretty good number. I'm happy with that. Next, again, using up my velvet yarn stash, I have a bunch of these little baby octopus. They're super cute. So I have a few different colors in these. I'll just show you all the colors that I have. So the green, the blue, the pink, the purple, and I have one of these like neon fluorescent yellow ones. So how many of these do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven of these guys done and I will be charging $15 each for those. I have a few bees done this time. It's been a while since I've made bees. Bees are kind of hit or miss at markets. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes I will sell out of bees and I can't keep them in stock. And then sometimes I'll go to markets and I won't sell one bee. So I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing, but I was trying to use up some of this yellow yarn that I had. So I figured I'll just make some bees. They don't take too long to make. And yeah, these guys are probably gonna be around $18. And I have an option for the safety eyes and a couple done with felt eyes. Again, these are my felt eyes. Um, this style is sold out, I believe. 
but I will be restocking them at some point. And I just counted and I have seven of those bees ready for this market. I have some peeps. I'm so excited for peep season. I have a bunch of different colors. I'll show you guys all the color options that I have. These guys are gonna be $18. I have a bunch made and my mom has a bunch made as well. So I'm really excited. We sold like over a hundred peeps last year. This is my peep pattern, by the way, that came out like February of last year. It's been out for a really long time. It's my best selling pattern by far. And yeah, I just get really excited to make these every year. They're a really quick make. I made some little speckled ones this year. I have the bright pink one, which is definitely a top seller. Another little speckled one, these blue ones and these yellow ones. Yellow sells really well. Oh, I also have these mint colored ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and count how many of these I have ready and then I will let you know. So I have 12 peeps. Next, I have these adorable little leggy eggies. How funny are these? Like, this is one of my new favorite plushies. They are just so funny. Like how cute would these be as Easter decor, your bathroom or just like on a shelf somewhere? So cute. So I made a few of these. I wish I made more. I just really didn't have time. I always have a million things that I wanna make and I can just never get it all done, but I think I made around seven of these. I'm gonna count them in a second, but I'm just gonna show you guys all the color options that I have. So next we have these two. I just counted and there is seven and every single one is like a different color combo. I have this little mint one and this little yellow one. The yellow one is definitely one of my favorites. I love it. And then this green one, this is my number one. He's so cute. Woo, I kinda wanna keep him. On to the next bin, which is where we have all of the leggy froggies. You guys know from previous videos, I go all out with these guys. I make a ton, pretty much as many as my hands can handle. So I have all the different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of them and count them because I definitely have way more made than I thought I did. And I charge $15 for these guys. All right, so I'm gonna start counting. That was three, five, 10, 14, 18, 22, 26, 30, 34, 36. Okay, I think that's all. 36 is what I counted. I might come across another one here or there, but for now I'm calling it at 36 and holy cow, that is so many, way more than I thought I was gonna have done. That being said, I did go out of my way to make as many of like the small things as possible because we have five days worth of markets this month. We have a market on April 2nd. We have a three day market from April 21st to the 23rd. And then we have another big market on April 30th. So I know that anything that's left over will be coming with us to those later markets. And I actually have a whole bin of plushies from our winter market that I was out in my living room, which you guys have already seen a lot of that stuff. So I'm definitely well prepared and I will have a couple more weeks to make a bunch of like leggy froggies and nuggets and stuff like that to prep for the end of the month markets. I have a couple of these turtles. I actually think I have three. So these are the Twinkie the Turtles. He's super cute. Look at his googly little eyes. These are the bigger ones. So you guys remember that one that I showed you at the start of the video that just like barely fit in the palm of my hand. Now you can see the size difference. So I have those two and then I also have this slightly smaller one which is a really pretty purple color as well. And I normally charge around $45, $46 for those at markets. Next I have this giant monkey. She is so cute. I love her little floppy arms and legs. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to charge for this one at the market yet. I'm thinking around the $58 mark. Honestly, she's worth way more than that, but I just don't know how well monkeys sell because I've never made a monkey for a market and it is a bigger piece. I have another mama koala and the little baby. We have a little lavender colored baby for this one. Super pretty blue sparkly eyes. And yeah, I just love this mint color. Sometimes I do just like to do like fun colors for my mama line. I just, I think it's so cute. Speaking of fun colors, I also have this like confetti colored mama bunny. You can see the little baby bunny in like a blue color. Look at his little tail, it's so cute. Long little ears. 
And yeah, this one just reminds me of like Funfetti cake. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. This is random, but I just have this little gecko. I actually made this a little while ago and I forgot about it. It's just super cute. I just like to have as many different options as possible. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to charge for this guy yet. Probably like, I don't know, like $22, something like that. Sticking with the green theme, I have this little lime. I don't know why I made this. I was looking at a crochet book or something one day and I was like, I'm just gonna make a lime. I don't know. I don't really make fruits that often and I just thought it was super cute. So yeah, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna charge for this guy yet. Probably like $16, something like that. I have some chicken nuggets as always. So far I only have 10 finished, but I do have a bunch of nugget skins that I'm gonna be working on tonight to get them all stuffed and just add their eyes and close them up so it shouldn't take me too long to get a few more tomorrow's a seven hour show so i definitely want to have more than 10 because we always sell out so i want to make sure we're good and stocked and we charge 15 dollars for these almost done next i have this little baby goose this is a goose right I think so, yeah. <laughs> With a little bonnet, so cute, I'm obsessed. I only have one of these guys. It kind of took like a lot longer to make than I thought it would, but yeah, I'm sure this will sell tomorrow for Easter especially, it's so cute. And then lastly is the little lamb or sheep that you guys loved so much. I posted these to Instagram. I had another one, that one has already sold. This one is available on my website, but I am gonna be bringing it to the market tomorrow. She is so cute, she's really big. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna charge for this one yet, probably around $70 or $75. She is a big girl and she took a lot of work. But yeah, this one is super cute. Again, with the cloud eyes, which are available on my website right now. That is it for this video. I can see my camera flashing that it is overheating right now. So I'm gonna hurry up and finish this off. I really appreciate all of your comments on my other videos. I'm sorry if I can't answer all of them. Sometimes it's just a lot and I really just don't have time. But I do see them and I appreciate all of the video suggestions and all of the likes on my videos and all of the follows on our social media. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this channel so much and sticking around with me. Yes, I know you want a craft room tour. I will probably get a chance to film that after this market. I've just been crazy market prepping and I haven't had the chance to really get the room the way I want it to be. So please continue to be patient with me. I will get that up as soon as I possibly can. As always, leave your video suggestions down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you. Ha! Have no regrets, yeah, I'll tied up my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt. Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens. Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain